What's up, people? Ors, of course, here coming at you with another Genesis video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Minotauros, the warrior character. I like to think of him as more of a bruiser tank, somebody who's meant to be tanky, get in their face and really take the, the attention off your back line. Now, as we get into his move sets, he has primal strength. This increases his movement speed and attack power, which is awesome. He also has the uh, Minnow Slam. This damages and stuns nearby en uh, enemies. Now, the range isn't that great, so you're going to have to be just about right up on him. But if you do get on him, it's a good stun. Uh, Malicious Blow is his next move. This right here, attacks have a chance to deal critical damage and stun targets. Now, the reason that I build attack speed instead of crit on him is because of this right here. Malicious Blow, once you start getting your attack speed up, it procs a lot. So just keep that in mind. Uh, slaughter this right here is his ultimate it's a different type of ultimate uh ultimate it weakens enemies armors and slows them it has a super uh low cooldown as well it's five seconds and if you use it correctly i mean you can really be chopping through some people and making it so that your um, physical damage dealers are going to be doing a lot of extra damage now let's go ahead and take a look at how i build minotauros so as you see here we have a list of the items in the game the first item that i like to go with with minotauros is the eclipse i think this card is super valuable because it gives that raw damage 110 attack damage and then it also gives you the passive take aim basic attacks gain 75 percent true strike this will allow you to hit targets even if they're building dodge and is very good against people like scion because he has that uh, ability that allows him to dodge so this move right here will allow you to get into the fight and really actually land those blows which makes you a force to be reckoned with and dealt with the next card that i usually build is going to be the rift claymore now this card is really good with the stats but i do it for the passive more so so it gives you the 70 attack damage the 20 percent attack speed and then the passive Gives basic attacks of melee heroes a 25% chance of stunning the target for one second. And then it also deals 40 damage. Now, if you add this on top of your uh, malicious blows, you're going to have basically a 50% chance of stunning people. So it works out really well and it procs a lot at the end game. So keep that in mind if you're going to build this way. Now, the next card that I usually build, and this is optional. Um, it's going to be the Atomic Blaster, or you can go with the Crimson Mass at this point. I usually go with the Atomic Blaster. Now, this one right here gives you 40 attack damage, 300 health and energy, 5 health regen, 3 energy regen, and then the cooldown reduction. And this move, or this is a card. After using an ability, the next basic attack made within 5 seconds deals um, 30 plus attack damage time point for additional damage and a 225 radius. I really like this card because if you do your uh, your dash ability or your stun, the next uh, basic attack is going to deal bonus damage to anybody in that area. So it adds a lot of damage to you and allows you to burn down people very quickly. Now, after that, um, the Alien Exosuit or Crimson Mass, either one of these. Let's take a look at Crimson Mass first. Uh, this right here at this point in the game is going to be doing a lot for you. It gives you the 45 attack damage, 25 life steal, uh, 250 health, and the armor. Uh, the passive or the active is what's going to be really important here. It grants 150% life steal for the next eight basic attacks so this is going to make you super tanky this is going to make you very hard to kill stop especially because you have stuns as well too so if you time it right you can get all your health back stun these people and be welling on them and then they'll just have to fight you again it's like you restart the fight so very good card after that alien exosuit is what i would recommend uh 35 attack damage plus 15 attack speed 200 health and energy and then the 17 life steal uh, when you activate the effect, it increases the wearer's movement speed by 15% and attack speed by 45%. So this is going to help you dealing damage, obviously. And for each hit, you're going to be getting back that 37% life steal before you even um, go ahead and uh, pop your active. So you're going to be getting back a lot of health as well. And then more importantly, it grants you shield equal to 5% of the wearer's maximum health. Minotauros, his health scales pretty well. So you'll be getting back a nice little bit of shield here. And that'll just make you even more tanky and hard harder to deal with the passive here is relentless so each time the wearer loses eight percent health his attack damage is increased by eight can be stacked 10 times so since you are going to be in a lot of the fights you're going to be taking a lot of damage this uh item synergizes really well with him because it allows you to dish more damage out the more of a beating you take basically so i really like that synergy 
Now, the next card that I like is a little bit of a defensive card, and that's the Medusa's Shield. And now, I showed this card last, but obviously, if there's some casters and you keep getting stunned or you think you need this earlier, build this at any point where you feel it'll be most uh, beneficial to you. But Medusa's Shield, I think, is almost a, a must-have on most people. So, he gives a, it gives the 25 attack damage plus 50 armor, and then it grants wear immunity to all energy effects. This allows you to get into the fight, ignore any type of stuns or CC abilities, and just well on people. So, very good for Minotauros. An alternative to that, if for whatever reason you don't need it, is Eternal's Grace. The 1100 health is super good for you. It allows you to get into the fight more, like I said, and then grants the bear additional health regeneration equivalent to 0.5 while in combat or 2.5 uh, while out of combat. So I highly recommend Medusa, but this is a good second. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a PVP game and see how he does. All right, people. So here is some gameplay of a Minotauros PVP. I did pretty well this game. I think it went 14, 4, and 16 or something like that. So Minotauros, a solid champ. Uh, I would highly recommend him as kind of that bruiser tank, getting people's face, really make them have to deal with you and uh, let your ADC sit in the back and just pump out that fat damage. Now, if you made it to this point in the video, I appreciate it. Make sure to put that down in the comment section. I love seeing how many people watch the videos until the end. It helps me out a bunch. And people, if this video helped you out at all, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more Genesis content, and also share the video out if you think it'll help somebody else. This is Ars, of course. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to recommend any other hero you would like to see down in the comments, and we will see you next time. Peace, 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 peace. This guy is hitting very hard right now. There we go. But we took him out. Hopefully Kadek gets away from that. Good job. I need to go back to base because I have taken a crap ton of damage. That Goliath is hitting, or not Goliath, Galith, I guess. But it's short for Goliath. He's hitting really hard. I don't know what he's building, but it's uh, it's nice, quite nice. Yeah, real disrespectful. Destructive. Oh no! Explosive. There we go. Now this chick, let's go. Let's go. Now Zeus comes in. Boom. Get him with that. Let's go. Get out of here, Zeus. I like this Zeus. He's doing that thing that Zeus is not supposed to do. He's dying. We're doing pretty well right now. We just got to not get caught out by anybody. He's running out. Let's go. Get him out of here. Now this chick is coming in, but I don't think she's gonna run up on us. She's she's gonna play more defensively. Retreat. Right here. Let's see if we can make this work though. I don't know if they're leaving. They might be. Let's go. How has he hit me that hard? It's actually crazy. All right, there we go. I'll get her. Let's go. Easy clap, easy life. And then, I don't know why their Apollo keeps running out at us like that, but uh, he's going to give up some easy kills. And uh, we'll take it. Let's go. Good stuff, good stuff. If we oh we got minions so we can actually take this tower. Let's get it. Tower under the tower. 
Boom, boom, get him out of here. Oh man, that's okay. She got the kill though, that's all that counts. Oh man, our cat X must be super far ahead. Oh, he's one in 10. See, their carry's super behind. So he's not going to be able to help their team out that much, which is sad, but at the same time, you know, that's the way it be. When you get behind in this game, it's it's a pain trying to catch back up. Let's see if they'll group. Uh, they're not following me. All right. Let's go. My man is spinning for the win. Let's go. He's out of here. Oh, here's Papa Gala. Get him out of here. Boom, 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 boom. Get him out of here. Let's go. All right, now back up. Back up, because I can't help you, and you're getting hit by the tower. Please. Oh, my goodness. She got the kill, though. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty confident right now, especially with two ADCs right here. Oh, I thought he was going to try to pull away. Uh, my man just, just took it, I guess. This team was doing really good a couple of minutes ago. I don't know what's going on, but uh, they've definitely had like a breakdown in comms or something. All right, back up, back up. There we go. Ah, she froze me. Jesus, she's about to kill me. Well, if you're going to kill me. Oh, let's go, baby. Get the hell out of my game. <laughs> uh, she thought she was about to kill me. Oh, man. See, that's the thing. People get so thirsty for these kills and they don't realize, like, it's not worth it chasing somebody down. That's why I always recommend that people stop buying boots because the only reason people are buying boots is to chase people down, not actually use them for escaping. Uh, people need to get out of that habit ASAP because it gets you killed most of the time and then it just puts your team at a disadvantage. Like this dude right here came all the way down the lane for no reason. Oh, I was coming for you. You knew I was coming. I was about to smack that man's cheeks down. Now, I'm taking this tower. And if somebody runs out of these shadows. Zeus? Give me that. That was disrespectful, but you know what? Gotta get Zeus down. He's super squishy. Let's see if we can take all this right here as well. Now, uh, infinity box, movement speed, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let's help Nameless with this right here. Let's get in here and take this. I want all these towers down. Oh, my stun didn't go off for some reason. I think she's got this, though. Oh, until Zeus came. Oh, she might still have it. Ooh, all right. They got the quick double. We might be chilling. Get out of here. This is GG. The enemy's bottom tower has yeah, we got all their stuff taken down. This is GG. Let's jump on her real quick. Because she's the main threat. Pop that. Boom. That armor down. Let's go.
Goliath, I don't think he wants it. There we go. It's easy clap, easy life at this point. I think we can say a uh, good game. Not bad. 14, 4, and 16. Not a bad game with Minotauros. Good champ. Solid champ. Good, 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 good.